We're all born, live, and die. We, we have that in common across cultures, our fundamental humanity and mortality. I joke with my students that we all share the same life cycles, and everything else is just details. The resonant life cycle theme is conveyed in this clip from Thailand. The use of transcultural themes and images may help international students to fit in and perform better through several contributions, such as comfort, as students in a strange situation look for familiarity to get their bearings, and bonding, as students relate to one another through common ground, and integration, where students interact better within a group through common ground. Content relevancy, where theoretical course concepts may be illustrated with practical metaphors and similes. And attentiveness, where transcultural tools can help attract students' attention front and center with a resonant image. So let's consider how the findings of this study may be applied to an undergraduate level course in global economics, serving a classroom of international students with multimedia tools such as slideshows and videos. Well, students are frequently reluctant participants in a required course on economics. The economic concepts may be theoretical and bewildering, so the students appreciate a familiar example, such as how economic and technological developments might be illustrated with the resonant assistance of cows. For example, prior to refrigeration, the only way to keep milk fresh at home was inside the cow. This meant twice daily milkings, early in the morning and again late in the afternoon. Once we had refrigeration, we could just go out and buy a half gallon of milk, freeing up our resources for other forms of personal and societal development. A course in global economics might well address the social and economic costs of war, slave labor, trafficking in women and children, and so on. Such issues may make a deeper and more resonant impression on the students if presented through the impact on babies and young children. Well, here is an effective use of the relationship theme to help demonstrate John Nash's theory of equilibrium from the popular movie A Beautiful Mind. The clip calls into question a fundamental principle of Adam Smith, that the driver of individual self-interest may not completely serve the common good. Adam Smith needs revision. What are you talking about? If we all go for the blonde, We block each other. Not a single one of us is going to get her. So then we go for her friends. But they will all give us the cold shoulder because nobody likes to be second choice. But what if no one goes for the blonde? We don't get in each other's way. And we don't insult the other girls. That's the only way we win. Resonant sports metaphors may be effective in talking the students through complex concepts. For example, the principle of mixed cooperative and competitive economic drivers may be resonantly demonstrated through this example of the Daytona 500, where a race car driver must attract a drafting partner in ever-shifting patterns of cooperation and competition among rivals. The resonant theme of self-image may be effectively applied as an economics course considers related issues of business ethics, various perspectives on wealth and value, and different takes on human socioeconomic interaction. For example, this might be illustrated by considering the Maasai concept of value and beauty in others, 
and enriching perspective from one of the world's poorest peoples. Well, student discussions in both face-to-face -face and online classrooms may be useful to address greater economic and social issues. Discussion topics such as unemployment, military service, education funding, health care support, family planning, and so on may be more interactive and engaging with transculturally resonant life cycle themes and contemplating how those topics impact the students every day and throughout their lives. Water was difficult to specify as an isolated theme or image, but nonetheless, water appears to have a common appeal among the international students, and it may serve as a transcultural tool through possible water-related group activities, such as get acquainted excursions with a boat trip or a picnic on the shore. Beyond the academic benefits that might be gained from such transcultural tools, they could benefit similar international gatherings in business and government and other global relations as well. And further study could be useful in measuring applied transculturalism, examining just how well does it work and are there additional and perhaps even better transculturally resonant themes and images and methods for their application. For example, there appears to be some transcultural resonance in discussions of food and international music and space exploration. And ironically, as we find greater common ground to enhance our global relations, we may also come to better appreciate our differences. And finally, I would be remiss if I didn't express my eternal gratitude to the hundreds of international students who have taken my courses over the years and their boundless contributions of insights and good humor. <laughs>